everyone. This is Stacy with Stacy with the Side of Schmear. I'm actually attempting to create bagels. And joining me today are two of my very good friends, Sarah Howell and Malia Lynn. The goal today is that myself, Sarah, and Malia are all making a half dozen bagels. We're using the same recipe, so we should ideally have the same results. This is gonna be tough for me to do. I think. Why? I'm just so bad at it. I've decided that I'm gonna be good at this because I have a skill. Uh, I'm here because I enjoy camaraderie and I like winging it. I think the best way to do this would be um, to lay out our supplies. So, I'm gonna do that now. I've already got my supplies laid out. See, this is why you are better at this. I need water. I need yeast. I have the, like, stuff ready. I got flour. Two cups of warm water, about 110 degrees. Flour, yeast, sugar. Here we go. We're doing this. Uh... I am going to measure my yeast. I need half an ounce. God, I have so much yeast. That is a hot commodity, though. This seems like too much yeast, right? I'm going to say no. That I feel like you can't right. have too much yeast. I know, is no. more yeast arguably better? Um, no. Baking is a science. <laughs> it's an art. Thank you, Malia. Because there's more yeast, you just have like more bubbly. I love the bubbles and bagels. The bubbles and bagels! Bubbles and bagels! <laughs> My first experience seeing a yeast packet, but it, it looks kind of what I imagined it to look like. We should come up with a brand and create bagels and then sell them. I oh, thought of a whole plan. So you're combining it now? That's what's happening? Is it time to combine it all together? Okay, have you ever made bagels before? Me? I think not. But Leah yeah. helped during the last time. The reason that the bagels were even somewhat salvageable where it was because of uh, Malia, honestly. Aww. Where do you think you went wrong last time? I think I went wrong almost like constantly. We worried about how foamy the yeast got. Malia, how's your foamy yeast going? There's a couple little bubbles, which means the yeasties are breathing. I can smell mine. Mine's definitely active. I, for me, I think it's time to put the flour in. What about you guys? I think I need like another minute or two. Yeah, I'm gonna give myself my yeast a little bit. Add one and a half. Okay. Stir and let stand until foamy, about five minutes. I think mine's foamy. That's so delicious. I am not a fan of the smell of yeast. I love it. You know all those bubbles are yeast farts? What? They eat the sugar and then they fart. Excuse me. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting my flour in. Like the first bit, I did regular flour, but we also have whole wheat flour. You are mixing your flour together right now, is what you're saying. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do this. We're doing this. This is gonna be done. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get the flour ready. Just so frazzled. Hi. I don't know. Frazzled bagels. It's no longer something I want to do. Making mildly stresses Stacey I need to make something edible this time. I'm ready to combine my ingredients together. This is happening. 
Here I go. Okay, I added my flour. It's so warm. I know, right? I'm getting overheated. I had to take a science class in undergraduate, and I decided to take the chemistry of cooking. I spent all of fourth grade hiding in the bathroom during math class. It's not, it's, it's, I need more flour, I think. How much flour have you put in so far? I put in, uh, I'm so Use your hands, don't use that wooden spoon. Use my hands? Oh yeah, pretend it's like Play-Doh, get in there. Okay, all right. It feels too much like dough. It's dough. Uh, <laughs> okay, so you don't like the way the yeast smells. You don't like the feel of the dough. Why are you doing this? Because I want to challenge myself, Sarah. Stacy doesn't like touching when her hands get dirty. She doesn't want to touch anything. Yes, this is what I needed. This is the advice. I'm, I'm so happy about this. This is like maybe is what I wanted. Ooh, that is nice looking. It's so smooth. Ooh, All right, so cover it up. And what should I cover it with? Cool. Dry towel, yeah, like a dishcloth. Let's let our bread or our, our bagel dough proof for an hour. Woo! Yay! Let's come back with All right, so our dough has risen. It has doubled in size, which is what it's supposed to do according to science. So what we're going to do now is uh, create the bagel shape. Remove the dough from the bowl and punch it down. Uh, 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 uh. Mine is literally making a noise. Ooh, what, is, it? what is the noise? It's like mm. pop, crackle and pop. Let's see. Sorry, I'm getting a tray. I'm getting a baking sheet. What's up? How's your dough looking? Looking okay. It's bigger than it was. I know that, but it's not as big as I want it to be. Roll each ball into a four to six inch log. Join the ends and place fingers through the hole and then roll the ends together. Place fingers through the hole sounds dirty to me. <laughs> Mine is so oily. I'm really... Once you punch it down, what do you what do you do with this? You have your recipe, right, Stacy? You need to cut it into six equal pieces. Cool. It says that you should roll it into a log and then connect the pieces. What if you just like stuck your fingers in the middle? Guys, I'm just gonna say this to you all right now. This looks like a legit. I've only made one so far, and it looks terrible. <laughs> Malia, are you just poking a hole in them? Yeah. I'm just sticking my fingers through the dough. Well, I'm rolling it into a log, and then I'm joining the ends together, and then I'm sticking my finger in the hole for an added measure. It does sound dirty. All right, I'm going to do them the Malia way. Not the Emerald Lagasse way. What does Emerald Lagasse even know about bagels? I think of uh, him from the Queen Latifah movie, Last Holiday. I don't know if you guys have seen it. Nope. It is one of my favorite movies. Last Holiday basically is this movie in which Queen Latifah's character um, is this like woman who all her life has done like everything she's supposed to do. She works at like a uh, Walmart-esque uh, store. She likes this man that works in like the home goods section. Hi, Kat! Hello, Kat! Hi! Hi, Katie! She has a passion for cooking, but she only eats lean cuisine. She cooks these like extravagant meals and she gives them to her neighbor. She puts them, she hits her head, and they do this like cat scan. And they're like, oh no, like we found, like I don't remember what they found wrong. And they're like, you have like three weeks to live. And she goes to this like resort in uh, like, uh, I don't remember where. Meanwhile, the man she likes had a crush on in the home goods section is like, where is Virginia? That's her name. There's this moment in the movie there when she finds out that she's going to die. She's in the church choir. Um, she's like, why God? Why me? And like everyone in the church is like, like echoes her and they all start singing this like impromptu song. And I like watched the movie when I was like 14 and I thought this was like probably the funniest thing I've ever seen. And I like fell out of my chair because I was laughing so hard. I don't know. It was, uh, it was, but at the very end she opens a restaurant. She gets to 
meet Emeril Lagasse. It's a really, really good, really good movie, guys. You know what's not really good? Tell me. My bagels. <laughs> I'm sure that that can't be accurate. I just don't imagine it to be. I just tasted the dough. The dough tastes good. You've tasted raw dough, Sarah. There's no egg. <laughs> okay, well, I don't know about this. Taste your dough. Go. I'm going to taste it. Mmm, I like it. Do you really? I do like it. Can I see what your bagels look like so far? Wow, yours look really good. My bagels right now look like really sad cruelers. <laughs> Are you ready for this? I'm ready for it. They look good. No, they don't. Yes, they do. I like, I, I think they look good. I'm making like chocolate bagels. Oh. Now is a good time to preheat our ovens. Cool. Okay. Also, though, we're boiling in sugar water, not salt water. Ooh, Malia. Malia, those look so good. Those look awesome. So that's another reason why I think my bagels turned out not right, is I didn't boil them in the correct water. We've all covered our bagels. We're waiting for them to rise. After this, we're going to boil them. Which is a key component to bagels. <laughs> After this, we're going to boil them. If you didn't boil them beforehand, they would just be bread. You need to boil them so they form their outer shell. And I am so excited to boil these bagels and get them ready. And I, we are nearing the home stretch. So this is going really well, I think. Let's come back in 20 minutes. Peace out. Bye. Peace. Bagels, bagels, bagels. Now we just need Malia. Where is Malia? Malia hasn't come back. Should we be concerned? Has she fallen into a bagel black hole? What's up? So sorry. Ooh, Stacy, those look so good. One, there are a few in particular. I'm like, yeah, these look good. Malia, let's see yours. Oh, Malia. Mm -hmm. I, I'm counting my blessings. What? I like them. What? I, I think they look good. That's just because you're a kind and supportive friend. I don't think that's true. Um, me and Malia and Sarah have waited about 30 minutes, and now we are ready to uh, boil the bagels. A necessary component in making bagels. So I have my water a boiling. How are you, you guys looking? My water's boiling. I am genuinely concerned that my bagels are going to fall into pieces. I'm gonna fall into pieces. Shot that one's my... And this is where I think I failed the last time. I don't think I put them in long enough. Mine is in the water. One in the water. That is a bagel. That's not, that's no bueno. What is that? You have the perfect spoon for it. Has anybody taken their first batches out yet? No, I, I'm not sure what time it is. Okay, next one. Who's ready? You are ready. This one is ready. Here it goes. I totally forgot to sugar my water, so that might make mine a little different. I mean, the, what does the boiling of them do? The boiling of them creates the nice outer shell that you enjoy with a bagel. How do you guys feel about room temperature bagels? I'll eat a room temperature bagel. But it is significantly less good than a toasted bagel, right? No, I don't like toasted bagels. I'm kind of a scavenger when it comes to food, so I eat them at any temperature. You split the difference between where Stacy and I feel about it. All right, so that's what they look like, and I'm about to put them in the oven. One of the chocolate-covered ones, and we're sticking it on the cornmeal. Flavoring side down. Clean up, clean up. Everybody has their share. When I was a kid, that song would like make me go into a fit of rage. <laughs> I always did what I was supposed to do. I was such a wonderful child. 
Okay, let me give you guys a little glimpse into my day-to-day -day quarantine life. I yes. stand at my kitchen sink with a beverage and wait for some sign that other people are outside. What I would normally do is run outside and, okay. humans and just stand six feet away from them. She's waving. We're making bagels. We're making babies. <laughs> making babies. <laughs> what are you flipping with? Flipping with a spatula, like any normal person would flip with. I'm just gonna do my fingers and see how badly it hurts. Why? Why? Flippity flip flip. Ah, oh, bagels in the oven. Bagels in the oven. Here we go. In the oven. Guys, I'm so hungry. We've been at this for days. Can we do this every weekend? Can we bake something? Stacey, can we just talk about how you tried to do this in an hour last time? I did. We still have like the actual baking time and we're three hours into this. My bagels just got in the oven. Sarah and Malia's already put theirs in the oven. And then we're gonna see what we come up with. We will be back very soon. Sayonara! Bagels! 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 We've gotten our bagels. They, we boiled them. And then we baked them, the key components. And now we are going to eat them. All right, everyone, get a bagel of choice. I have one here. I'm gonna show it. Oh my god, Stacy, that looks so good. It is perfect. I don't even want to fucking eat it. I want to just, I want to marry it. Do you want us to officiate? Yes. It's what it's what it's here today. Stacy, you may now eat the bagel. Oh my god. Oh, looking good. Okay, that was. Oh, I don't know about this. Oh, I don't feel good about mine. All right, I just took one of them out of the oven that looks the dunnest. Oh, yeah, oh, good. Get me and the bagel in the shot. Mine looks good. Tastes so good. I'll be honest, I really thought that I was gonna succeed. Oh, I am pleased. really hard to do. It was about four hours. But I'm really happy that we we did it. I can do almost everything. This was Stacy with the side of Schmear making homemade bagels part two. Um, I'm Stacy. If you like this show, uh, we are virtual for the time being. Every other Saturday, we're releasing a new episode online. Um, I also want to take a moment to thank my co-host for the show, Sarah and Malia. Thank you both so much. And we will be back soon with more episodes, so... I would just like to interject. Y'all both told me you're going to be drinking a lot more. I did mention that, and I just got distracted by the bagels. I got distracted by alcohol. <laughs> Bye, guys. I love you. Love Bye. you guys so much. Can we do this next weekend? Please. All right. I love you so Bye. much. Bye. Bye.